In short, soft skills are social skills, communication skills, social intelligence, emotional intelligence, teamwork. Why we care about this and why this is important? Mostly for two reasons. The first is that it completes your personality because people uh, are not only um, experts in their domain. They are social actors and they belong to a, to, to a social context, right? This, this, this type of skills complete your personality. The other more pragmatical um, reason is that these kinds of skills are increasingly important in the job market. This means that employers, be it in the private sector, in the public sector, including academia, are more and more looking for applicants or for candidates that have these soft skills. And uh, they are also part of the job announcements that you may find. But if, it, if you don't find, for, for instance, good communication skills in, the, in a job description, uh, you should be aware that in the employer's mind, this is something that is very important, right? And um, presentation, presentations or being able to communicate in a group is very important in an increasingly uh, globalized world, which also has to do with, um, you know, mobility and mobility and dynamics in the job market. Especially in Europe, people are used to change many jobs uh, several times during their career. So this means that they need to have the, the, the skills to be able to be, you can call it resilience, as Costas call it, or, or otherwise, uh, in order to adapt to new working environments, right? And soft skills are like the baggage uh, or the luggage that suits to all job environments independently of the country or of the, of the, of the type of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the job. So, why soft skills are important? Because we are in a heterogeneous and dynamic working environment and because of mobility, right? Um, soft skills can be gained through, uh, in a working environment, but also can be uh, gained before. Uh, this presentation is part of, uh, of, this, of this preparation of this uh, raising awareness about the, the importance of soft skills. And um, another type of skill I would like to address is also empathy, uh, which is very important in transnational um, group in working environments where you have individuals from cultural, ethical, uh, backgrounds uh, who do not coincide with you in the same m mindset or attitude and it is more and more important that an employer knows that you don't need to be to agree with your co-workers but at least you are open to discuss and open to listen to them and to have a, at least um, you know a, a productive working uh, experience altogether. Right, so let me, uh, by closing this introduction, remind you what we call soft skills and why they are important. So, social skills, communication skills, social intelligence, emotional intelligence, uh, teamwork and empathy. Recognizing emotions of others, being open, um, etc. Right, let's talk about presentation skills. Right, it's, it's what you do in a presentation that is uh, not domain specific related, but it's also very important when you stand up and talk about your, your work in a, in, a, in a venue like that. Um, do you have experience in oral presentations? Right. Someone who hasn't uh, talked in public. Do you, do you consider yourself as um, experienced uh, presenters or not with uh, enough experience in presenting? Okay, uh, a nice mix, thank you. Um, 
This presentation is, is a part of a bigger module, of a training module, which will be offered for you as an online, uh, uh, in an online delivery, right, in a digital learning uh, space. So this is just a short introduction of, of this module, which is part of the soft skills, as we said, and it aims to help candidates um, speaking English. And why English? Because it tends to be the lingua franca, whether we like it or not. Right? And over the range of, uh, of academic contexts, at faculty, at scientific venues, on the internet. And I would like to point out the importance of the internet as an intermediary space. Because more and more, there are opportunities uh, for a presenter, for, let's say often for an individual, to present his work online, on, on the digital world. This, this happens through um, live stream events or recorded events, uh, like a video recorded talk, but it can be also a live stream webinar, right? And beyond presentations, it has to do also with uh, being as, uh, present across social media, right? Because now, uh, scholars, but not only scholars in the sense of professors. I, I, I believe that you, because are you students, and if you target an academic career, uh, you should be aware that at that stage, at, at the student uh, level, you should build your um, digital presence, right? And uh, although I, I would like, I, 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 I'm. I am open to offer another presentation, perhaps in another uh, course, about being social media present and so being a digitally literate in a scholar context. Uh, just what I would like to emphasize here is that your career doesn't end by publishing a paper or by giving a talk at a conference. It's much more complex and it's also an opportunity for you to build your branding, if I can call it like that, through social media and on the internet. For you, it's a very good opportunity not to have to you know, visit and, and, and travel all around the world. You can build uh, um, uh, your identity through, through social media and on the internet. Um, there's a book that I recommend, it's called The Digital Scholar. Uh, by an open university scholar who speaks about you know, the importance of the digital world and how can scholars uh, enhance their work done locally into a global environment. Right, what, uh, what are the obstacles that you see in oral presentations from your experience? One of the first obstacles I see, um, I'm a teacher by profession, uh, is trying to like you trying to do, um, transfer a point or a subject or something that is important to you that you have a concept of it using two things. First, literal or lingual way, just talk about it. And the other one is non-lingual or non... Uh, Non-verbal. Non-verbal way, thank you. You see, sometimes missing the words, <laughs> like looking for the correct words, running around it. Now, when you're in a in the opportunity or scenario of an oral presentation, you need to find the correct words. And sometimes, especially right now when you're not, you don't have your notes in front of you, um, you don't seem to be able to capture the correct or very uh, precise meaning of what you were trying to say. Uh, this is part of the obstacle, one of the major obstacles I find when I talk to students or other people sometimes running around the subject trying to um, express myself in a, in a completely coherent kind of way. One other thing is that uh, during the presentation, 